Hello, I'm Elaine Becker. I'd like to share with you some of the stories contained in the book, So They Came, Young Men Farmers. This is a book that I've researched and written over the past few years based on archival evidence and interviews with some of the families involved. These were young men who left the United Kingdom in the early 1920s to make a new life for themselves here in Canada. In particular, they came to the southwestern Ontario area and were sponsored by the Salvation Army. They were between the ages of 14 and 19 who responded to the invitation to emigrate. The program was operated in cooperation between the Salvation Army and the Canada Immigration Authorities and operated between 1924 and 1936. William and Catherine Booth, who founded the Salvation Army, in the East End of London in 1865, believed that the church should do more than just preach the gospel. They believed the church should demonstrate the love of Christ wherever needs existed. The motto of the Salvation Army was and is, heart to God and hand to man. This young man farmer scheme was for them an answer to the poverty existing in the UK, as well as answering the need for people to come and colonize in Australia and Canada. Young men from all over the United Kingdom took up the challenge. They entered into a training program at Hadley Farm in the South end of England. They were trained in such skills as milking, plowing, horse handling, and other things that would be needed on the farms in Ontario. Burnside Lodge was located on Dundas Street, where the YMCA is located today. That's also the site where the first log cabin was built in Woodstock by Zacharias Birch and his family in 1800. The home later belonged to the Patulos before becoming the property of the Salvation Army. The SS Metagama operated from 1915 to 1934. The first group of young men to arrive in Woodstock set sail on the SS Metagama on February 22nd, 1924. The young men arrived with hopes and dreams of owning their own land, of operating their own farms. Many of them dreamed of going further west than Woodstock, but Woodstock was their first destination, and for many of them, they stayed in this area. Once in Woodstock at Burnside Lodge, the young men got cleaned up, had a lunch, and for many of them by that afternoon were on a train headed to their new working location. Contracts were established between the young man, the Salvation Army, and the farmers involved. For most of them, it would be a two-year contract. The farms may have been anywhere from Sarnia to Belleville, as far north as North Bay. Charles Elsom was one of the first young men to come in March of 1924. He was only 16 years of age and was placed on a farm of Elizabeth Kitchings in East Zora. Len Bingham was a young man who arrived in 1926. He tells the story of arriving at Burnside Lodge and then traveling by train out to Norwich, where the farmer arrived in a touring car. 
he rode about six miles to the location of his work assignment. Harold, Shorty James, arrived on the same ship as Len Bingham in 1926, but Shorty talks about his arrival in Montreal, the bag lunch they were provided, and then their journey on the colony cars from Montreal through to Woodstock. The young men who came all have a variety of stories. It's interesting to note that many of them returned to Burnside Lodge for reunions, picnics, and parties. Some young men even managed to return home at various times. For instance, in 1933, a group of 15 young men returned to Great Britain for their Christmas break. The young men sometimes gathered at Southside Park for a picnic such as depicted here. Burnside Lodge closed as an immigration centre for young men in 1936. The property was retained by the Salvation Army and during the Second World War it became the headquarters for the Canadian Women's Army Corps. These were women stationed in Woodstock connected with the Canadian Driving and Maintenance School at the fairgrounds. These are the faces of some of the men who came through this immigration scheme. Their stories are as varied as their faces. The book, So They Came, Young Men Farmers, records many of the stories of the young men who left the United Kingdom to come to Canada. All of the stories in the book involve the young men who came through Burnside Lodge in Woodstock, Ontario. The book is available at the Woodstock Museum for $20.